Hi guys, good to have you all back. I am ready for another holiday bite. Okay, today's project. Easy, quick, simple, fast. Yeah? Okay, let me show you. This is not a prototype. This is actually um, a finished project that I did, I think, about two years ago. I'm going to try to link the video below. It's three circular sort of tags. Yeah? Uh, that I've, I, ha I have attached with a bread. So they're actually, you can move them. <laughs> they're twisty so last monday's video i tried to do uh, a twist twisty tag video that didn't work out it, well the video worked out it was amazing um but now i really want something interactive so i when i made these i wanted to make them into sort of small little secret journal spots that you can put in a pocket in your journal but you can also use them in a different way let me show you in my let me show you journal um let's take out a page yeah you can glue them on. Now you can just glue them on um, here on the side. Have it as a tuck spot. Uh, or on the bottom or what have you. But you can also have it stick out a little bit. Yes. Just put glue on. Or if you're going to put it on the bottom on two sides here. Or if you're going to put it here just here. And it will stick out. It is a, It functions as a tab, tuck spot. And you can twist them about. Yes. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So... This project, um, let me show you the supplies. I'm going to use glue, probably ruler knife, scissors, most likely not even. Now I'm going to make mine in circles. I have circle punches in lots of different sizes. I have, this is a two and a half inch one, a two inch one. And then a one and a half inch one. If you don't have circle punches, you might have some other device that cuts circles like a die cut machine. Or I also have sort of a cutter that you can sort of make circles with. There are lots of devices to make circles. Or just scissors, you know. But I am rubbish at cutting um, circles. They do not need to be circular. No, make squares, rectangles, hexagons, any sort of shape that you want. You can even use um, sort of dice for this. So just uh, a couple of shapes and they need to be like, um, what's this? You know, staggered. Like small one, medium one, big one. Yeah? I'm using my circle punches. Okay. <coughs> Um, obviously going to use a bread. Now these are these big decorative breads. I, I bought these years ago at Action. I have a whole box full of them. I was going to do scrapbooking and, you know, bullet journaling and such. And I hardly ever use them. They're cute though. They're cute. So a bread. But you don't need this big cutesy bread. I have more of those. Just a bread. Just a bread. Yes. A piece of ribbon. Not necessary. Or woolly. Or, or something for decorating okay for the papers i'm going to show you so for paper i need a base i'm going to use a piece of cardstock guys use any paper that you have it needs to be a little bit heavier it doesn't need to be heavy heavy scrapbook paper but if you have less, less love scrapbook paper use this uh you're not going to see any of it it's actually going to be sandwiched in between uh two layers of paper that we do like so i have loads of black cardstock i need to use some up yeah then for covering paper any sort of paper that you want love i made these with sort of book pages or scrappy bits i am not going to use digitals today what yes it's a non-digital day but honestly guys use digitals whatever you want uh not only do i want this project to be quick and easy and um fun but I also want it to be cheap. Now, in my opinion, there's almost nothing cheaper than uh, digitals. Because you purchase it once and then you can use it forever. You will never run out of it. But, you know, um, I'm using other cheap stuff. This over here is, well, actually my box of shame. Box of shame. These are small little notepads, paper bits that I bought a couple of years ago on AliExpress. Now, I am not going to endorse AliExpress. Actually, I am going to tell you not to buy on there. Not to buy on Timu and AliExpress and Wish and Sheen and such. Um, because, yes, it's cheap. But, frankly, we don't use it. And then it becomes expensive. But if you have it, guys, use it. So I'm going to use it. This has been literally collecting dust. <laughs> I have small of... No, oh, I have loads of these. Loads of these. So instead of the going through my scrap box, I'm going to use these. For decorating, I might also use some AliExpress stuff. Like a washi tape, washi stickers or something. 
but you can use whatever. So take out your scrappy bits, hopefully cheap, free, maybe some six by six paper pads that you never used. Use something, use something that you have lots of. Yeah, is that it? I think so, I think so. Okay, let's get going. So what you can do if you want this to be really, really quick, just make a big collage of the paper that you want to use on uh, your sheet of paper. This is a four size, but you can make it smaller or bigger or whatever you want. It depends on how, how many circles you're going to cut out. Now, I want to have a little bit more control of what is on the circles. Yeah, because there are three different sizes. The smallest one. I really want to have a little bit more control. So here's what I've done. Not necessarily at all, guys. No. Quicker to do a big collage. I've cut small squares. So this is three and a half by three and a half. Three by three. Two by two. So this is going to be the two and a half inch circle. See? Fits. Yes. And then uh, the two and the one and a half inch. Or just keep them as squares, lovies. Or you know, triangles or whatever you want. So I'm going to make separate collages. This will take a little bit more time, but you know, I have time. I have 20 minutes left for at least. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just going to do some small uh, collages. I have cut three of them. I don't know if I, if I can make three. I'm going to take out a whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of this. And I'm just going to glue stuff on. Do I want a glue page? I think so. Isn't that lovely? Yes. I don't know, guys. Yeah. I'm going to use this mainly for gluing. Um, glue stick. You could use just normal, uh, well, art glitter glue. But I'm just going to use glue stick. Yes, this is the middle part. Oh, I'm just going to put it on. Now, I am going to focus mainly, sort of. Um, on the center, yes, because I know I'm going to cut something out from the center here. Oh, some music paper. Oh, lovely. We're making sort of a, a collage masterboard type of thing. I love this. Very oh, relaxing. Look at that. What did you do? I don't know. Well, you were talking and gluing at the same time. Is that pretty? Yeah, just going to put it on. Oh, I made such, such a mess. There we go. Well, while I'm gluing, let's have a little bit of a chit-chat. Um, you won't even see this. Guys, yes, I am going to do a, sort of a, a craft room tour. But it's it's a little bit difficult. Let me tell you why. Because my craft room is an odd shape. And I really don't know if... Oh, I love the number. The number is going to be over there. Um, if I can fit it all in the camera also, I need to take care of the lighting, which is difficult, especially now that I have like a solid ceiling <laughs> instead of a glass roof. I'm very happy with the end result. Something like this here. Yeah. Now I'll probably also put focal points uh, on here. So it doesn't really matter what you put on. This is just going to be background. Oh, what is this? Well, this is too heavy. Piece of this here. Yeah. Now I've used black cardstock, which probably wasn't smart because you really see a little bit of the back. I'm going to put it on like so shining through so if you're using thinner paper to decorate with oh my gosh well you could be done <laughs> is this actually one of the shapes hmm. <laughs> i'm going to cheat oh i'm a cheater yeah i'm just gonna put this on this is going to be the two inch circle done <laughs> oh i'm so bad i'm so bad let's do a piece of this is a sticker is this a sticker Probably is. Probably is a sticker. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on like so. Yeah, so I, I am I am going to do a, a craft room tour for the for the. Um, I tried to film the organizing that didn't work, guys. I was trying all sorts and yeah, it wasn't making me happy. 
put this in between here. It will look completely different when we cut this into a circle. There you go. Oh, small one. Let's do some small ones. Well, on the piece of this on here. Piece of this. Oh, look, cute. Put this in the center. So yeah, I had my lights and my camera and, you know, but I needed both hands. So my camera was on sort of a stand and then I just, I don't just, I don't want to uh, be in frame. I'm sorry, guys. I am not really camera shy, but I also do not want to go through hair and makeup to go on camera. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I am a little bit vain if I'm going to be on camera. I want to have my makeup on and, you know. And my stuff. <laughs> so, and I was still doing, uh, you know, the cleaning and the renovating. And you don't do this with your heels on and your hair and curlers, right? Yeah, so it actually sort of didn't work out. Uh, something else. Ooh, I have a lovely typewriter. I'm going to put that somewhere else. Piece of this. Do we still have some music paper? Yes, we still have some music paper. I don't know what is going to show up and what isn't. Was this sticker as well? No, it wasn't. So yeah, I was trying to film and uh, for hours and hours and didn't get anything done. And I was like, well, I'm going to show you afterwards. I'm going to show you afterwards. Let's do another one. Uh, yeah, that's just cool. So I also need to... Um, do something on the back. But I think I'm going to do something sort of neutral on the back. That you can maybe even stamp on. Uh, for the tap. For the tap, yeah. So this goes here. What else do we have that is interesting? Ooh! For sure I'm going to use... Oh yeah, I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to be cheating again. <laughs> Is this a two and a half circle? Two and a half inch? Yeah. I'm just going to have this on. It's going to be a lovely focal point on here. What? I do not know yet, guys. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. I don't know what that is. It's the probably the paper. Yes. This on. Do you want a typewriter? Is that a sticker? don't know the world is a book i can tell you it is not just flip it over so for focal points i might take out some um aliexpress washi stickers or washi tapes i don't know yet so many pretty ones. Is that big enough? No, that's not big enough. I'm going to put it on the smallest one. Yeah. Oh my, I'm so happy that I'm finally using this stuff up. Yep. I do have a piece of this left. Sure. Sticker? No. And then this last piece. Let's let's hope if we make the circles that some of it sort of will show up. Yes. Is that the last one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, last one. I'm gonna do the back slovies with more blank paper type of stuff. Pretty mushrooms. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's sentiments on here. Who am I going to meet? Love waking up in the morning. Well, you should if you wake up in the afternoon. Then you're a lazy bugger. 
love waking up in the morning or you know you could also wake up at night Led Zeppelin concert well my husband would be happy with this me not so much not my type of music don't tell me you're like oh my gosh you don't like Led Zeppelin I don't like Led Zeppelin I'm sorry was from the 80s though and I do actually love it. everything 80s apparently except for Led Zeppelin piece here don't know if it will show up small piece there so you don't need to cover the whole bit lobbies no because you know gonna punch a circle out of it unless you're gonna make them into other shapes yeah okay now here's what i'm gonna do i'm just i'm going to punch out the circles and then um do something on the back because i don't know this is he heavy cardstock i don't know if the cardstock with the paper on the top and on the bottom will still Punch, uh, my uh, circle punches will still punch through. I don't think it will. So I'm going to do the, the backs of them after I have punched them. They look pretty cool when you cut them all out, right? Yes, really like them. Now I cheated with these, but I just couldn't pass up. I just couldn't pass it up. Yes, and I backed all of them with some um, sort of one piece of paper. Um, and this, this will make for a lovely tab, right? Yes, I have this as a tab. So that's what I've done. I paired them all together. Yeah, let's start with this set. Now, for decorating, I went through all my washi stickers, washi tapes and such. Did not make me happy. And then I remembered, I have this. These are Robons. Not from a brand like 49er Market or uh, Stamperia. So they're not very good quality. I, I must admit, these are actually rubbish quality. Um, but they... I bought these on AliExpress. I know at one point they were also in a subscription box. I don't do subscription boxes. I don't really enjoy them. Um, but they're all sort of dried flowers and leaves and such. And I thought, well, why not use them up so I can finally get rid of them. Uh, and also uh, some tiny label stickers. Yes, I buy these from a friend of mine on Instagram. She makes these. Actually, she prints them on sticker sheets and then you have to cut them out. And they're just lovely. Yes. Also going to do some inking. Yeah, but let's just first find out how we're going to decorate them. So let's take out some of these rub-ons. Now I'm going to start with the largest piece. Yeah. I am going to try to put something more on, on the edges because this is all going to, you know, stack on one another so I'm, I'm gonna try to put something here and i was just thinking this i was just thinking this but by all means guys put on some stickers or some fuzzy cuts or or a what have you so i'm gonna have this here and also i'm guessing um a label then yeah okay i have stickies for this that do this i enjoy um doing this with a pencil just gonna put this on now i'm going to put this over different layers of uh paper so that's going to be a little bit of a difficulty <laughs> especially with these rub -ons. Now i'm not saying these are the worst but you will see that it is actually a rub on it will leave for um sort of a border of glue all around them as opposed to if you're going to use, well, especially 49er Market, if you're going to put on a rub on of 49er Market, you will not see any glue um, on the outsides. Then will this, will this work? See, you can see some glue still sticking. And so it's, it's actually not, it's not very good. This won't happen if you use sort of, a, well, that's not even. Rubbed on right, lovey. There we go. Yeah, but that's quite all right, lovies. We just, you know, use them up, use them up. Yes. So if you put your hand, a finger over it now, it is still a little bit sticky. That won't happen if you're going to use, you know. Well, they are the other ones are more expensive. I agree. But these are much better. I do like it. I do like this. I'm going to 
take out a pin. I had a pin out. Did I not? Yes. Uh, am I going to ink the sticker before I put it on? I probably will. Just a little bit. Yes. If you don't have like um, sticker sheets, it's not necessary to put this on sticker sheets. Also, if you don't have tiny labels, what you do is, if you do have some label, label digitals, print them to two page. Automatically smaller. Now, I do like this. What do we want on here? Yeah. Um, something over there then. Florals, florals, let's do these. Yes, and then another cute little label. Maybe you want the label. Oh yes, I'm going to put the label here on the top. And I'm going to put the rub on over it. I should have used maybe a bigger label, but I didn't. Come on. Yes. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to leave it like this and put the rub-ons on uh, later. Is that the, the, this the last one? Yes. What are we going to put on here? Uh, well, something smaller. Purple. What do we have here? Just a little thingy. They are, they are tiny, tiny. Just a leaf. I'm going to put in this leaf. Is this a maple leaf, loves? I don't know all the English words for all the... Oh yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm going to put this here. Yes, and then also add a small label there. So this is going to go here. Ta-da. And then this is going to go over it. Like so. Yeah. For the next three, I already picked out some of these sort of flowers. And it also has lots of these leaves. Now, I'm just going to pair a leaf with the flower. Why not? Now, it looks like it has, you know, a leaf on there. This is actually a dried hydrangea. Now, hydrangea, apparently, I'm going to put some on. Let's just put this on while I'm going to tell you about my cats. Um, as you might know, my cat Jackson... Um, where's my pin? My, ca my cat Jackson... Has been to the to the vets to the do doctors and they have been trying to find out what is wrong with him. They thought epilepsy was an epilepsy. Then they thought um, potassium, something with potassium. He did a uh, deficiency um, because in the blood test it came out he had a shortage a shortage of potassium. That's probably because because uh, a couple of days before he had been vomiting. Now, what they did not take into consideration, neither did I. I am not a vet. <laughs> that they ate something wrong. Now, I have two cats. Now, my husband and I were thinking, what can it be? What can it be? Oh, let's do this one first off. Because he did this for over the past couple of years, two or three times a year. And all of the times were during the, the summer months, during the time that he was outside in the garden. I know, you already know where I'm going with this. Yes, and Jackson likes to eat, you know, grass and stuff. Uh, but because I only had one cat that did uh, sort of spasms and it looked like epilepsy. It isn't, it's actually muscle spasms that um, they have. Now... Uh, the other day, my other cat, his sister Daisy, did the exact same thing. We were like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Yeah, we were really, really scared. Uh, immediately phoned the, um, the vet, of course. And now they were like, okay, do you have any new plants inside of the house? Are you using new sort of um, cleaning products or anything? And we don't have any plants inside of the house because I enjoy my plants in nature 
Oh, that looks really, really cool. So um, then I was like, no, but they are outside in the garden. And sometimes, you know, they can bite into a plant or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Why didn't the doctors think of that before? But, you know. Um, and we're like, oh, this, this, this could be it. So I did some research on what plants I have inside the garden and what they might have bitten into or have eaten. And hydrangeas is one of them. And also um, ivy, climbing ivy. I also have some of that there. And um, if you look at the symptoms, if they eat it, they, it won't kill them. Fortunately, it won't kill them. Um, and we think this is it, but we're not sure. We are not really sure that this is the, the problem. Um, it will... Uh, I was going to put this here, but... Oh yeah, you're going to put it there. Put it there anyway. The ivy, the climbing ivy and the hydrangeas are actually toxic. A toxic, not that toxic. It won't kill them, but it will uh, make them have muscle spasms. And, um, you know, well, it will not make them feel good. Let's be honest. So that is probably it. So I can shoot myself in the head right now. Why wasn't I more careful? And uh, But I was told a cat won't eat anything that's bad for them. Well, probably not my cats because I love them. But they're a little bit stupid. <laughs> oh, I love them so much. They're my babies. So, well, they probably ate from the hydrangeas i know for sure that daisy my lady cat um did eat from the hydrangeas i saw her just pull on it and eat one of the flowers and i was like oh my gosh daisy you're a flower that's eating a flower but apparently i should have been oh my gosh daisy stop it and uh, well yeah so i am a little bit upset with myself i'm hoping that um this is what it is, actually, so we can prevent them. Well, they're not going outside in the garden anymore at any time. Um, this is not even sticking, guys. This Is this sticking at all? Well, not really. So, yeah, I was really scared when Daisy... Look at this. It's not sticking. No. It's like, it's like there's not even glue on here anymore. So I need to put something else there. Another floral. I have another rose. This might work. I'm just going to put it over it. So, um, lovies, if any of you is a vet... Hello, you are probably very smart. Please, um, please help out. Please help me out. Because honestly, my vet, I am not really happy with it, with him. Because then he said, told me it, it's a this. Then he told me it's a that. I had to do this, a blood test and, you know, an echo and uh, an x-ray. And what have you to my cats and, you know... They weren't happy about it. Please stick now. Please, please stick. Yeah. So I'm really worried about them. But apparently they're going to be fine. That's what they told me. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. Great. Yeah. Let me do the other one as well, guys, because we want this video to be shorter than an hour. And I'm going to put uh, some of them on, on these as well. All of them are decorated and inked all around. Now, you don't need to make the twisty thingy. No, you can have them as is. Just, you know, just glue them together, make them into little small clusters and uh, put them on a journal page as a talk spot if you want to. But I want to make a twisty thingy. Yeah, so I'm going to pair all of them together. There we go. Yes, you did not see this one. I did a this, a this, a this. Yes, I had a little bit of trouble with this one. Yeah, the robins are rubbish. They're rubbish ones, yes. Okay, so I want to make a small hole. I'm going to use a, a similar brass that I used here. These are big ones that I bought at uh, Action years ago. 
So I'm going to use one of these big brads, but you can use the smaller ones or you don't need the big ones. No, just a smaller one. I am going to put them all together on the top, line them up at the top here. Yes, we want this. I'm going to take out um, a paper clip or clamp or something. See, that will hold it all together. Now you could take your pokey tool and poke a hole. I'm just going to take out my crocodile and then punch a small hole through all of the layers. There you go. See this? Yeah. There we go. I'm going to do the same with all of them. So I took out a couple of... Um, well, I'm using organza ribbon because oh, why not? And I've chosen this lovely hard bread that I normally wouldn't use. Lots of stuff that I normally wouldn't use. Now, okay, loves, if you're going to have these as standalones, um, here's what I did. I was saying prototypes, not a prototype, with the, with the other project. I just put um, a label sticker over the opened bread. So I'm going to put this here. Yes. Fold them open. Now mine are going to be glued onto a page. I will, however, uh, put a piece of tape over it because I'm going to use as a tuck spot. I do not want the papers to be stuck in here. There's a little bit of room left for me. So there you go. I'm just going to make a lovely bow. Or something that looks like a lovely bow. Yes, this can go. That's in the way. You don't need to use again organza or or ribbons for that matter. No. Use a piece of baker's twine or there was another one in the that I made in that video and I used this. Because why not? But for these, they look like Christmas bubbles, right? <laughs> so I'm doing Christmas in August, not July, but I like it. See, I'm going to put a piece of tape on the back, but you can now twist them. So that you can see the whole, the whole thing and uh, glue this on a page. And then this would be uh, a tab if you want to, or just, you know, glue it on, have it as a tuck spot. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the other ones as well. So let's look at the end result. I really like them. They're really cute. Yeah, I uh, put a, a brat in with a butterfly. A little bit of the green and then added this lime green organza. Now, guys, uh, put a label on the back if you want to use them as is. Or just a piece of tape if you're going to use them as the tuck spot. Yeah, so you can use them like so. Just glue the whole thing on, on a page as an embellishment that you can uh, do the twisty thing with. Or just make it into a tuck spot, which means use um, glue part of it on. Yeah, and you can twist them about. Yeah, that's what I like. I like the reveal of the hydra hydrangea. And then this one with the, with the burgundy. They're just really cute. And I back them with, with some paper. If you're going to twist them, you want to see something, right? You could You could actually put a small message here. A secret message, yes, for journaling. And then this one. This would also be a fantastic project for Christmas, right? Yeah. Remind me of it. Remind me of it. I'm going to try to link the original video where I made these. Um, where's the other one? I made three. I think I made three. Or maybe even more. I'm going to link that one below. Yes? Okay, guys. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I managed to make three of them. But you can do one surely in, in half an hour. And just use what you have. I'll be back again uh, this Friday with another video and also a freebie. Yes, I'm going to have a three page freebie. I don't think the Friday's project is going to be a half an hour, but I'm going to try. It's a little bit of a bigger project, but I think you're going to like it. Yes. Okay, loves, I will see you this Friday. Until then, bye.